just one more month, guys, and then we can finally see Doom footage publicly in, you know, its full glory. So, I've been definitely pumped for it. I'm getting, you know, back to the Doom grooves, and I've been playing, you know, Doom 2 a lot, quite a bit. And I'm going to try to upload more of Doom 2 footages, and I also want to put gameplay videos where I play levels that I don't really play that oftenly, or maybe a pistol start footage, because I realize I barely upload pistol starts, and I always seem, you know, to have a favor of particular maps that I upload, so I'm going to try to be a bit more diverse with my Doom 2 videos. I actually never uploaded map 24, which is gen generally a level that a lot of Doom players don't like. I think I should try to upload that, you know, just to get it out the way. But at the same time, I do feel like I also never uploaded map 14. At least I don't remember, like, uploading that level. So I do have some, you know, plans to upload those maps in the future when I feel like playing them, that is. So I'm uploading this video just to talk about the skill-based nature for the fu future Doom games, and this is particularly focused on the single-player side. I will also talk about the teaser trailer at the near end of this video. To me, Doom has always been a skill-based game from single-player and multiplayer. There's a lot of things you can tell by how experienced the player can be with the map knowledge, strategies, and the movement, the level of confidence, and the list just goes on and on, man. I also want to say that I'm just really focusing on the actual playing experience, not speedrunning since I know Doom is quite a speedrun friendly game and there is also a gap to see who's skillful at speedrunning Doom also. So all of this is just based on playing the game intentionally. I really want to I really want this game to have something that will encourage me to play it better. I love playing classic Doom because it's one of those games you want to play as aggressively, stylishly, or just try to do something cool with the game and just try to make it flow right for you. I was playing Doom 2 a while ago and I was pretty much doing that. I was having fun playing all smoothly and confidently, but there's always, you know, these moments where I'm like, man, I wish I could have improved that or improved this, and it just encourages me to play it even more until I, you know, really improve those flaws, and once you overcome those flaws and the playing styles, I mean, the playing, yeah, the, pl yeah, the playing style becomes, like, stuck in your brain, it just feels good and right. Not only that, the classic Dooms also had pistol starts, which were another thing that could help you improve as a Doom player, since it really does force you to learn the maps, and it's just another dynamic to encourage you to play the game. I don't know if it is going to do that in this day and age, but I really want this game to be single player driven and definitely have a lot of love and quality to it, but at the same time, I totally want it to be a skill based game. It just feels good to play this game with knowledge and confidence in the, in the older id software type games. And I just hope this upcoming Doom game will have that and hopefully you know it has some other things added like I would love to see extra modes like how Wolfenstein the New Order had or maybe like an instant action slash challenge mode would be really, really fun too. I really do love the Doom series for a lot of reasons, like the gunplay is good, or the map design, but I also feel like the whole skill-based nature is something that a lot of people don't really mention, but I gotta mention it, since I do feel like it is something that kinda makes the game feel special to me, I guess. With that said, let's talk about the teaser. I, re I really did not expect to see the teaser today, mainly because I just didn't see it coming, enough said. But it was good, and even though I hate teasers, because it's just there to tease you rather than, you know, give you like a basic idea of the game, like what real video game trailers do. But here are my thoughts on it. Um, I really enjoyed the Revenant design. It's definitely more similar to Doom 2 than Doom 3, but he looks awesome at first. I thought they replaced his homing miss missiles with machine guns, but I eventually found out he was shooting his missiles more rapidly than Doom 2 slash 3, so that should be interesting in the combat aspect of the game. I also pretty much feel like the double barrel shotgun looks pretty much what you expect a double barrel shotgun to look like, but it's nice to like you know at least see a weapon in the teaser. That was the positive mentionings, here are my negatives. I'm not really sure about the hell based levels cause when you look at the background, hell looks kind of dull and brown, but 
I hope the hell-based maps won't really be like that since it's kind of hard to tell because the trailer basically made it blurry so you could focus on the Revenant instead. I also want to say that the graphics aren't really as good like everyone was saying at last year's QuakeCon. I remember people were saying the game looked as good as the Doom reveal trailer and I was like no way but after watching this video and then watching the reveal trailer at the same time I think people let their excitement uh, get the best of them since it definitely doesn't look the same. I also think the graphics don't really look that much different than id Tech 5 to be honest but we're going to have to wait to see in the future to you know learn more about the technical aspects of them that's really all I gotta say for this video I also noticed the music kinda feels similar to the first uh, map music of Doom 2 but it's heavier and the tempo is slower but if you have any more you know questions about the Doom teaser you could pretty much ask me in the comment section